I'm gonna show you guys how to do AI or you know so step number one is to have your clip you know what I'm saying just have your clip ready have it all like perfectly cropped and then all that and just you know render it out because we're not gonna do a full massive little clip it's better to do AI with um maybe like three to four second clips or you know just make sure it's not super long so the render doesn't take like 3,000 years and you'll see what I mean so yeah Um, open the link that I have in the description for the collab research notebook and what we're gonna do it you don't need an, an NVIDIA GPU I don't have one of these you know what I'm saying so first things first I'm not gonna check any of these yet but open this right here just let it do its thing now then um, right here just leave this alone you can open this it's gonna take a little bit so yeah you you're not gonna see it show up on the screen but um, I'm just gonna grab the clip that I just rendered out from After Effects. So I already showed you guys how to do that. And I'm just gonna put that in there. Just drag it in there from your files. So yeah, just press OK right here. And it's just show up. There it is. So yeah, just leave that there. And now just hit run on this one. Run anyway. Yeah. And then you don't need to just you don't need to adjust anything anything here. So run this. Some of these might take a little bit, but if anything shows up right here that says um, allow to connect to your Google Drive, yeah, just say yeah, just press yeah on everything. It might take a little bit of time, but let's wait. Alright, so it, it finished. Now, next one. Uh, this one's gonna take a little bit, but so you don't need to adjust anything, just let it do its thing. Free low tip, free mingle bliff, free on my guys, free problem child. I don't know what I did, what I did, what I found. Okay, that took about a minute, and yeah, alright, so now just run this, and it, it really depends on your PC, it really depends on your specs, so yeah, this is where I'm going to need to adjust something, so this isn't really a big adjustment, but right here, just click it, and you see all these options with SD at the end, you, you don't want to click any of these, because we don't have stable diffusion, obviously, so that we're going to just do one of these, I'm going to do robot diffusion. But waifu also works. So yeah, and then just run that. This might take a little bit of time as well. And just like that. It took three minutes, but yeah, it downloaded. So yeah. Now we're gonna get to animation settings. Um it's really up to your choice. But for now, go to animation. For the animation mode, turn the none into video input. Now max frames, it just depends like if you have a really long video or short video. You don't need to adjust it if your video is like 3 seconds or anything. Okay, so yeah, all this stuff, nerdy stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna cover it for now. I'll cover it once I get better at this. Now for this right here, I'm just gonna delete all this. Now right here, I'm gonna right click it and press copy path. So right here, control. You know, just like that, you got it. Now this is this um extract whatever frame. This is like let's say you have a 30 frame video and you don't want it to take like three hours rendering, it's not gonna take that long, don't worry. But you could render out at 15 FPS instead, and that'll be like a much faster render if you put this at two. But yeah, that's your choice. Really, really this is your choice. So yeah. Now what I'm gonna do, I don't think I need to adjust anything else. Yeah, we go. I'm just gonna run that. And just like that, we're gonna go over to prompts. So we're gonna have all this crazy stuff right here. But, um, I'm just gonna put one prompt. So literally just replace everything that shows up. I'm gonna write, uh, dreamy. So yeah, that's the prompt I'm gonna type out. I'm just gonna copy paste it. Copy paste them. And control C. Just replace all of them with the uh, prompt that just you desire to write out. So once you got that done, you can just run this. And once we got that run, and right here is where you change around your image settings. Um, so mine, my video was. Uh, 1560 by 1080. Um, 
you can have this if you want to like half half it but I think I'm just gonna stick with the regular so 15 16 15, oops, 15, 60, 5, 10, 80. Okay, so, uh, I'm just gonna cut in real quick. Actually, do, <laughs> do these type of settings. So yeah, 780, and then 1080 divided by 2 would be like, I don't know, I, I didn't, I didn't graduate math. 540, okay, so, yeah. Just, just divide it by 2. Please, 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 please divide it by 2 before you actually press it. <laughs> Alright, so my video cut off, but yeah, just put this uh the same settings or you can do like half of it for a faster render. But yeah. Now for seed and all this, you don't really have to move it around or anything. Yeah. I'm gonna go down here and find strength. So strength is gonna be kind of important. I'm gonna do about point four. I'm gonna do point four for the strength. But let's say you did one for strength, it would be rec unrecognizable. It would just do a completely different thing with the same color scheme. But if you did zero, then yeah, it would like not do anything. So yeah, then just run that. Uh, let's see if I did everything first. Yeah, run that. Okay, so now that your render's done, this isn't like, this is just another attempt I made, but it's cool. So like, once your render's done, instead of, um, you know, doing this, this never works for me. So I just go to my Google Drive, and what would show up for you would be all the AI images. So what I do, just grab, you know, press like the first one you'll see, and then drag up all the way until the last one, while holding shift and click the last one. You'll select all of them, right click, and then you will have to download all of them at once. Now if you don't have, you know, WinZip, then yeah, you're kind of done for it, but yeah. I'm just playing. Then open your thing. You won't be able to see this in mine, but yeah. So now, once you, um... Once you put all of these inside a, a file, inside of, inside of like a little... Once you put all of these inside a folder, then um, we'll move on to the next step. So, I'm going to show you guys how to import all your pictures into AE, and then I'm going to go ahead and add it on, and you know, we'll see how it mixes into the actual video. So yeah, once again, go to File under your AE, then Import. You won't be able to see it either, but just File, and then you'll find Import. Then press file, just individual, open the folder up where you, you know, put all your, uh, all your images in. Select the first one, then go all the way to the last while holding shift and press the last one. And press import. So all of them is going to show up to the side here. Just hold them all, don't deselect any of them and drag them to this little thing. So copy my settings right here. It probably won't be the same, just copy my settings. And press OK. So just like that, you have this. You know, right click everything and pre comp it. So I have a pre comp now. I'm gonna control C, go to my main comp and control V. Now to make it center in the middle, go to layer. You won't be able to see it. Okay, but yeah, still. Layer, transform, and fit to comp. And just like that, we have, you know, it all fitted perfectly. So I didn't render out the full thing. So. Now, you can leave it at this stage, but, or you can like blend it on somehow, but the way I like to do it, I'm going to use a pen tool on his hair, so, it doesn't have to be perfect mask at all, you can literally just do the most sloppy mask ever, and just like that, we have our mask, press M, open all the settings, and just feather it to like 100. So yeah, I'm going to make the mask move up, so keyframe the mask path. Click your comp. Just move this up. It probably won't be the exact same for you, but yeah. 
So yeah. And I think I can leave it at that. So as you can see, his hair is the only thing being affected. While everything else is, you know, left unchanged. So yeah. You can do a lot of things with this. You can do it with an eye. You can do it with a bunch of trippy effects. But trust me, there's so much to this. There's so much more to this you can do. I really recommend experimenting with everything. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. And like, you know, I really appreciate y'all. Tut 3 coming out very soon. Very soon. I promise you. I promise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See y'all later.